determine the resultant couple moment acting on the pipe assembly. So we have three moments here. Now moments are vectors just like force or distance. And so we need to break these into components and then add them up. And that's the resultant moment. Uh, starting with moment one, that's the difficult one. Now it's pointing out in 3D space. Now just like the force vectors, we can find the position vector and from that the unit vector to find the moment vector. So the position vector of one is negative two in the x plus two in the y and plus 3.5 in the k. So that gives us a position vector of the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 3.5 squared, which is 4.5, which gives us the unit vector of negative 2 over 4.5 in the i plus 2 over 4.5 in the j plus 3.5 over 4.5 in the k and the unit vector is equal to negative 0.44 in the i plus 0.44 in the j plus 0.78 in the k. So the moment is equal to the magnitude 450 times the unit vector which gives us negative 200 in the i plus 200 in the j plus 350 in the K. So moment two is all just 250, negative 250 in the K direction. And moment three, it'll be noted that this is one and a half, this is two and a half, which means this is a three, four, five, so this would be two and a half triangle. So if the magnitude of a three, four, five triangle is 300, then in the 1.5, that's 3, so 300 divided by 5 is 60, so 60 times 3 is 180 in the i direction, minus, because negative j, 4 times 60 is 240 in the j direction. Now all we have to do to get the resultant moment is add 200 plus 180, negative 200, which gives us negative 20 in the i, 200 minus 240 is negative 40 in the j, 350 minus 250 is 100 in the k.